What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and we are going to be covering off Saitama. What is going on? How many airdrops have we done? And what does the future look like for it? So make sure you subscribe to the channel for all your daily cryptocurrency content. Give it a thumbs up. Let's dive into this one. So 32.15, currently the price with two zeros down nearly 11%. On the day, it is up a singular percent for the week. 383k in volume, $321 million market cap right now, 4.81 million in liquidity. Does feel a little bit tight, if we're totally dead honest. We're on this daily chart. It has taken a pretty hard dip the last couple of days. If we go to the four hour chart, we can see that we did see this nice run up um, as we sort of came into the end excuse me, the 24th of June, we did peak out at the fours and then we've kind of gone down ever since. So, you know, kind of what's happening, what's the deal with it really? And look, we're 89,866 holders. You can see the last time tokens were airdropped out two days and 16 hours ago. So although, you know, ETH is cheap, gas fees have been reasonably cheap, we are still significantly behind where they should be. Remember the dev team said, they would drop every single wallet. 367,000 holders were quite a way off that. We're in the 23,278, which, you know, isn't the biggest wallets in the world. There is a significant amount. I appreciate that. But at the same time, we're now getting on for nearly two weeks since these should have been dropped out. And again, it just hasn't quite hit the mark with it, which again, I think is why we're seeing this sell off. I think these are when people get their tokens. Now, and I talked about this in the last update video I did that because it took so long for people to get it, people lose trust when they can't trust a development team. And I think that's a little bit what we've got here. So the minute people are getting their tokens, they are selling them. I know we talk on my live stream, we cover Saitama, just particularly what it's doing in terms of price action. A lot of the community were waiting to get their tokens to try and get their tokens out. It was as simple as that because what they do see is not a lot coming. Now, Sata Realty is certainly a question mark in terms of what's happening with that. Now we're waiting for the Sata Mask Pro to launch. Is that going to make a difference? We don't know. We did see a couple of people testing it. Again, and here's the thing I talk a lot about in terms of the development team is that they need to focus on what the community want to hear. And what we don't want to see is loads of noise, loads of aggravation. If you're going to build a project and you want to instill trust back into your community, then work on utility, work on the thing you're going to bring out, work on what makes you different rather than get into rants, arguments, conversations with people that you don't need to. Deal with facts, understand what the community want and go and land utility. That for me is what they need to do. Now, we saw this from Russ a couple of days ago at 25th. We're on the 28th now. Gas is cheap. Airdrop's continuing. We will rest when everybody gets there. We are Saitama V2 tokens. Well into the 20 billion V1 range now. No wolf left behind. We then haven't dropped tokens for three days. So it is a bit of a challenge. Again, if you come over and check out, this is uh, Elon Mance's channel. There's just a, not a lot going on in terms of actually utility that's going on. There's a lot in terms of retweets and a lot of conversation, but not actually a lot for utility. We come over to the official Saitama website. You can see seven days ago was the last time anything, excuse me, the 24th was the last time anything was really posted, which was on the back of the AMA where we talked about staking coming down the road. We talked about exchanges as they do uh, most times, but not with anything to back that up. And then everything goes quiet again. And I think this is where people start to sell their tokens. This is where people say, do you know what? This is enough. I've been in Saitama for a long time. I think, you know, the writing was on the wall when we started to go into a V2. I talked about how positive a V2 could have been. We did the V2 and absolutely dropped the ball with it. So I think right now investor trust is probably as low as it can be and as low as it maybe has been. The chart is reflective of it. Like I said, when you zoom out and you look at what it's done, it's done pretty much exactly the same as the initial Saitama token. Is there hope still left in it? Well, possibly. It has got a strong community. No one can deny that. Yes. There are question marks of the ethics that sit with some of them, absolutely. But at the same time, they are driven to make this a success. Can it do it? That's not for me to judge. Certainly where my opinion sits right now is, can they land Satamas Pro? Can they bring anything back? I just don't think they can. I think Satama is certainly going to be a challenge. I think they need to look in the terms of the development team and what that's going to look like. And equally, the only way I think they build trust back in is deliver on utility, deliver on product, and forget everything else that's going on. The reality is, don't think they can but let me know what you think in the comments down below are you still holding saitama or are you out and i'll catch you guys in the next video